So I've created two tests for Google's search page. This test is built with Selenium, so industry standard. But interestingly, it doesn't actually test this. Instead, it's testing this. With Selenium, you're just still testing the DOM code, not the actual app. And the problem with that is that while your app may not change, the underlying code can and often does, like that. So let's run this. Now this code change is not going to break your app, but it will break these tests. Selenium's dependence on the underlying code makes it brittle. It makes it flaky. And it makes tests exponentially more costly to maintain than to create. It also makes me spend all morning debugging, fixing, and recommitting tests for an app that's still working just fine. So now let's run that same test with test.ai and go. Now I can rerun this test regardless of changes in code because we take a fundamentally different path by being AI first. This means that test AI uses computer vision rather than the DOM to identify elements and understand and interact with your app like a human would. This leads to robust, reliable test suites with a fraction of the maintenance costs. That means if an ID changes, your tests still pass. That means if you switch frameworks, browsers, or even devices, your tests pass. The possibility to visually understand and traverse your app like this means that as long as your app works, the bot will know how to use it and what to click, and that means your tests pass. But for me, that means I don't waste my morning fixing Selenium tests. I get to do my real job.